Hey guys, Daily Dog here. I'd like to welcome you back to the channel. Now, in today's video, we'll be taking a look at all the legendary skins for every legend in Apex Legends. <laughs> Sorry, guys, just a disclaimer. I did have to chop this into two videos because this video would have gone for about 40 minutes long. So, in this video, the skins we'll be taking a look at is for Loba, Revenant, Crypto, Watson, Caustic, and Mirage. And the other legends will be done in the other video, which will be coming out very soon, in the next few days, in fact. But anyway, let's get back into this video. And then I'll be ranking them from my least favourite to my favourite skin for every single legend. And lastly, we'll be picking the rarest skin for every single legend. So these skins will be featured today are every single legendary skin, every event skin, and every exclusive recolor. So guys, before we get into this video, I'd like to remind you guys to quickly click the subscribe button with the notification bell turned on so you guys are notified on the channel's upcoming videos. And also, leave a comment down below of what you believe is the rarest skin. Anyway guys, let's get into the video. So I'm sure you guys know that one of the major selling points of Apex Legends are the different skins they have to offer. If it's the Wraith Voidwalker skin, or even the Servan Mervin Pathfinder skin, everyone likes to show off their best legendary skin. I mean, who are you, some kind of default skin? Who are you, a pussy? Yeah, you pussy default skin. You're such a peasant, get off this video. You heard me, any fucking default skin, get off this video, you absolute pussy. Alright, now we've got rid of those noobs, let us real gamers look at some of the rarest skins in Apex Legends and some of my personal favourites. Now we will start with Loba because obviously she doesn't have many skins because usually the new legends don't receive an exclusive recolor or event skins until at least the end of their season or the start of the new season. So at the moment she only has the four regular legendary skins. So in my opinion, her worst legendary skin is the Purple Rain. In third, Gold Standard. Second, off the record, and first, the bootlegger. So this skin really stood out to me when I first looked at the four skins for Loba. The little fancy black hat and the knee-high red boots really look cool, and also like the dark red and light purple tones of this skin. Unfortunately, because Loba only has the four skins at this stage, I really don't know which is the rarest skin for Loba. So the next legend we'll be taking a look at is Revenant. Now Revenant again doesn't have many skins either, Revenant had received one event skin and one exclusive recolor in the past few months. So let's take a look at Revenant's best and rarest legendary skins. So the worst Revenant skin, in my opinion, is the Shadow on the Sun, followed by Birds of Prey. Next we have the Afterlife, which requires the Birds of Prey. The next skin we have is the False Idol. In second spot we have the Unholy Beast. And my favourite skin for Revenant is the Relic of Death, which came with the Lost Treasures collection event. So this skin is amazing. It was a fan favourite when it was first seen in the Lost Treasures collection event trailer. It by far received the biggest hype out of any of the skins coming with that event. The aztec -y and ghastly vibe coming from this skin is a lethal combination. And you're damn right that I own this skin. It is definitely up there with one of my favourite skins for any legend in the game. Now if I had to pick the rarest skin for Revenant, it would most likely have to be the Shadow of the Sun Revenant skin. And to be fair, I can probably see why. I just think not only is it not the best looking skin, but I don't get the thought that came into giving Revenant this skin. The design of a bird is just weird. And another reason why I think this is the rarest skin for Revenant is probably because it's not the skin that received the recolor. But again, I'm definitely not a fan of these skins in general. So Crypto will be the next legend we'll be taking a look at. So Crypto has probably received arguably some of the best skins in Apex Legends has ever had to offer. His regular legendary skins are very good. Nearly every single event skin and exclusive recolor are also very good looking as well. So let's take a look at some of the best and rarest skins for Crypto. So we'll start with Crypto's worst skin in my opinion, which is the Hype Beast. Now we'll explain this one, because when I first saw this skin, I actually thought this skin looked really beast as fuck. But my problem with this skin is the fact that in-game it stands out like absolute dog's balls. And Legend Like Crypto has to be away from fights and hidden quite well. This skin makes him stand out too much. So that's what's really turned me off this skin. But anyway, let's keep going through this list. So next we have the Devil Advocate. Next we have the Seeker of Knowledge, which came with the Lost Treasures collection event. The next skin we have is the Deadly Bite, which came with the Halloween event, inspired by a vampire. Next one we have the Fuzzy Logic, which requires the Hired Gun. And the next skin we have is the Hired Gun. Next skin is called the Hack Frost, 
which came with the Christmas event, inspired by obviously Jack Frost. In the top five now, we have White Listed, which came with the System Override Collection event. In fourth, we have the Totemic Might, which requires the Masked Dancer. In third, we have the Masked Dancer. In second, we have Winter's Grasp, which requires Rising Phoenix. In the first spot, we have the Rising Phoenix. I mean, just look at it. The orange and black combination in this skin is amazing, and the white mask looks outstanding in my opinion. In his recolor, being the Winter's Grasp that just came out in the shop, looks even, if not just as good, maybe even better. So if I had to choose the rarest skin for Crypto, I think it would have to be the Totemic Might recolor. Now, I really don't understand why, though. Honestly, I really like this skin. I guess it does stand out in game, but I would pick this skin up in the shop if it came out again. I think it did come out just at the end of Season 3, maybe the start of Season 4. So maybe because Crypto wasn't as used back in those days, like, you know, what was it, 3 months ago? Maybe that's why this wasn't picked up in the shop, but I actually really do like this skin. So now we're done with Crypto, let's take a look at Watson's Legendary Skins. So I've actually talked to a mate or two who actually use Watson quite a bit, and they aren't really fans of some of Watson's Legendary Skins. But I actually like quite a lot of them. However, there are a few that definitely I'm not a fan of. Let's take a look at Watson's legendary skins. So I think the worst skin for Watson is called the Shocking Suffer, which came with the Christmas event. Next we have the Silver Age, which came with the Grand Soiree. The next skin we have is Fly By Wire. Then we have Ace of Sparks. Next we have the Cyber Security. Next skin we have is Cyberpunked, which came with the Season 4 Battle Pass. Next skin we have is the Warrior Empress, which came with the Iron Crown event. The next skin we have is the Outlands Explorer, which came with the Lost Treasures Collection event. At number 5 we have the Vapor Wave, which requires the Flyby Wire. In 4th we have the Strange Attractor. In 3rd we have Current Champ which requires the Ace of Sparks. In second, we have the Bionic Wonder, which requires the Cyber Security. And the top spot goes to the Ruby Jewels, which requires Strange Attractor. Now this is a really cool skin. I know some people aren't a fan of Watson's robotic looking skins, but I love this one. Just the straight red that shines through this skin is just outstanding. And it's actually one of the only few skins that I bought the original version just to get the recolor. So if I had to choose which one of Watson's skins was the rarest, I'd have to say it's the Warrior Empress that came with the Iron Crown Collection event. So this Iron Crown Collection event came in Season 2, which was one of the first collection events to come to Apex Legends. Collection events have been quite a contentious issue with a lot of people because of the amount of real money you have to use to purchase all the items to get an heirloom. Now collection events aren't a big issue now. I think people have gotten over the fact that games now just push monetary items in video games. And plus obviously Apex Legends being a free to play game, the money has to be made somewhere in this game. So because the first collection event that came to Apex Legends was widely criticized, a lot of people didn't get the Iron Crown collection event skins and they were not properly purchased, which does make them, especially this one, extremely rare. Now I think my time of playing Apex Legends, I've seen this skin maybe half a dozen times in game. So it is definitely rare to see. Now, I'd like to know down in the comment section below if you guys use Watson or don't even use Watson but actually you have this skin. I'd like to know if anyone's got this skin at all. So now we're done with Watson skins. Let's get on to our next legend we'll be taking a look at which is Octane. So obviously Octane being the season 1 legend that came to Apex, he's received some really cool skins. And also with Apex Legends season 1 having the smallest payer base in Apex Legends history, some of his skins are also really rare. So let's take a look at Octane skins. So the worst Octane skin, in my opinion, is the Dasher that came with the Christmas event, inspired by Reindeer. Next we have the El Diablo skin. The next skin we have is Clocktane, which came with the Grand Soiree. Next skin we'll take a look at is the Speed Demon. The next skin is called the Red Shift, which requires the El Diablo. Next thing we'll take a look at is the whole shot hot shot, which requires the gold rush. Next skin is called the victory lap. The next skin is a recolor called surplus acceleration, which requires the speed demon. The next skin is the gold rush. 
In the top five now, we have the Jade Tiger, which came with the Battle Pass in Season 2. In fourth, we have the Arachnoid Rush, which came with the Octane Bundle. In third, we have the Excel Rate, which came with the System Override Collection event. In second, we have Extreme Measures, which requires the Victory Lap. And in first spot, my personal favourite skin for Octane is called the Laughing Fool, which came with the Black Friday sale. So not only do I think this skin is not only really funny to look at, but I think it always looks really cool. So this skin came in in Season 3 with a Black Friday sale that came to Apex Legends that happened in the store. Now I don't know why a game would actually have a sale for skins, but anyway, this skin looks really awesome. Which actually brings me to my rarest skin for Octane, which I think is this skin as well. Now I'm not sure why this skin is so rare. I think it looks really cool. My only reasoning behind it is maybe because Octane is probably the worst legend in Apex Legends still. And maybe no one thought of purchasing this skin. And plus... The fact that it was a skin that you had to buy, it couldn't be used to craft it with crafting metals probably was another reason why people were turned off it. However, if I had my time over again, I'd definitely purchase this skin for myself. So guys, now we're done with the worst legend in Apex Legends, let's get to the best, which obviously is Caustic. So a lot of people in the Apex community probably think that Caustic has received some of the best skins in the game. And I have to say, after doing some research for this video, I believe that they're probably right. He has some awesome skins. It was really hard to rank these skins from my from the best to worst. But anyway, I gave it a shot, and I think I gave it a solid effort, so let's get into it. So in my opinion, the worst skin for Caustic is Divine Right, followed by Clawstick, which came with the Christmas event, obviously inspired by Santa Claus. The next one we have is Necrosis, which came with the System Override Collection event. Next skin we have is the Philosopher's Stone, Next skin we have is the Sixth Sense. The next skin came in the Season 2 Battle Pass, which is called the Prince of Darkness. Next skin we've got here is the Third Emperor. Next skin we've got is the Last Laugh, which came with a Halloween event inspired by the movie It. Next skin we have is the Gas Buster from the Lost Treasures Collection event inspired by the Ghostbusters movie. In the top 5 now, we have the Dark Cloud, which requires the Divine Right. In 4th, we have the Black Heart. In 3rd spot, we have Bloodthirsty, which requires the Sixth Sense. In 2nd, we have the Trophy Hunter, which requires the Black Heart. In top spot, my personal favourite skin for Caustic, which I own, is called Waste Management, which requires the Philosopher's Stone. So I think this recolor came in around the end of Season 3, early Season 4, and to be honest, I think it looks amazing. Not only do the green and orange colors really contrast with each other, but the grey gas mask looks really cool. And the thing that really stands out on this skin is the gold knock symbol on the gas mask looks really cool. Those small little de details really give this skin a real toxic look. So out of the caustic skins, I can really choose only one skin, which I think is the rarest. And I think it is the Trophy Hunter. To be perfectly honest, I've maybe seen this once in-game. And it's actually one, or maybe two or three skins that I actually don't own for Caustic. And to be honest, I'm super jealous if anyone actually has this skin. Because I think the skin came out in Season 1 or 2 as a recolor. And I wasn't playing this at the time. So I'm really disappointed that I didn't pick this up. And I hope this one does come back into the store soon. So guys, if actually you guys own this skin, or anyone you know owns this skin, please comment down below, because I'd actually like to know. So the next legend we'll be taking a look at is Mirage. So Mirage is probably one of the least lucky legends when it comes to skins. He really has not received many good skins to be honest. However, he has received some pretty good skins as well and some very rare skins. So let's go take a look at Mirage's legendary skins. So the worst one for Mirage in my opinion is the Wisecracker which came in the Christmas event inspired by obviously the Nutcracker. Next we have Old Town which came in the Halloween event, inspired by a Halloween costume. Next skin is called Seafoam Swindler, which requires the Ghost Machine. Next skin is called the Revenger. Skin after that is called Folk Hero, which requires the Revenger. Next one we're going to take a look at is Angel City Hustler. Then we've got the Ghost Machine. The next one is called The Prestige. 
Next skin we got is the Man Made Man, which came in the System Override Collection event. Into the top five, we've got the Dark Artist, which requires the Ghost Machine. Fourth, we have the Captain Bamboozle, which came in the Iron Crown event. Third, we have Fool's Gold, which came in the Season 5 Battle Pass. Second, we have Pit Crew, which requires the Prestige. And number one, we have Center Stage, which requires the Angel City Hustler. So I'm a huge fan of this skin called Center Stage. I think it looks really cool. With the bright red white on this skin, it really stands out as a quality skin for Mirage. And it's also definitely one of the rarest skins running around for Mirage. So that leads me to the rarest skin for Mirage, which I believe is probably this skin or Pit Crew skin. Now I do think this part leads to the fact that Mirage has probably been the worst legend in Apex for such a period of time that no one really was looking to purchase a Mirage recolor in the shop. And also, I do think this skin came quite early in Apex's life cycle, so it's probably a factor as well. However, both these skins are probably the best skins for Mirage in my opinion. I'll definitely pick them up if they did come back in the store sometime in the future. So guys, we'll finish the video here for now. Make sure to keep up an eye out for the part 2 of this video. And also make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel with the notification bell turned on so you guys are notified on the channel's upcoming videos. Anyway guys, Gilly Dog will catch you all later.